largest lamb from five minutes, biggest, extremely red, seven. <laughs> Largest lamp plot, biggest 5 meter configuration, standing at 1679 square feet, extremely rare, accounting to just about 1.17%. With your very own private lift, three bedrooms that are fully ensuite. <laughs> yes. Are you laughing? Newly TOP, brand new project right here at rear front residences for this 5 meter at a very attractive price point of $2.95 million per square foot is just about $1,700 odd dollars range. Join us as we head up to these beautiful ground floor units right here at rear front residences. Let's go! If you notice, the kind of design for rear front residences is that it is elevated. So for your ground floor, it actually feels like you're almost kind of like on level 2 or level 3. But you get a very elevated view towards this sloping ground. You have multiple entrances to the development. One of them is over here, separated by this two-lane road. So you don't get too much of a road noise. And let's head in. Right, we are standing in the largest configuration right here at Rear Front Residences. This is a 5 bader single floor plate layout that we are standing at today. And we talk about 5 bader configuration right here. This is the only stack. Rear Front Residences is also sitting on the largest land plot within this entire Aokang vicinity. Of course, you have a slightly bigger floor plate that belongs to the Strata Lander right here. So the Strata Lander, the bigger floor plate is also accounting for the additional areas such as your own private car park space. For the Strata Lander that only have four bedroom configurations. Bigger size also equates to a slightly higher quantum. Because on the other hand, if let's say you're on the market looking for pure five bedroom, but yet you do not want to burst your budget, then this unit might be suitable for you because for this unit, we are going at a very attractive asking price of $2.95 million. PSF is only standing at about $1,700 odd dollars, which is actually attractive. This falls very well within our tri-factor analysis. And of course, before we dive deeper in, this is a fantastic layout. Where I'm standing right now, this is a wide span living as well as dining. Three bedrooms that are ensuite in nature and not forgetting that you have a dry kitchen, wet kitchen, a helper's room. And right behind this door is your very own private lift. So that is the luxury that comes along with this five bedroom unit right here. Top it up, you have the yard, the WC, a very nice patio space. And when we talk about patio space, this is not your typical type of ground floor unit because most of the ground floor unit in terms of the patio space, they are usually slightly larger. And when you're talking about slightly larger patio space, that will also equate to a slightly higher price quantum. But for this patio space, this is exactly the same size as the unit that are above so you're not paying more for the ground floor unit in the meantime we're going to pull out the side plan just to quickly orient you in terms of our location If a big land plot, you will also be spoiled for choices in terms of your facilities because you have huge massive pool that are lined up right in the middle of this entire plot itself. And on the far side, that will also bring you towards your basketball court, your futsal court, your tennis court, your various barbecue pits. And from a side gate cutting across the HGB, that can lead you directly towards Aokang MRT station itself as well as the interchange. And from there, once across the line is ready, that will bring you towards Pasiris as well as Amokyo in about three stops. And of course, you can interchange to various other lines for enhanced connectivity. More importantly, we want to take a closer look at the empty plot right over there because surrounding the entire Aokang vicinity, right above you have a mixed-use development plot and right down below you have a residential plot. Eight to ten years later, that will coincide with two major milestones, namely the Pai Bar Air Base as well as the rejuvenation right at the heart of Aokang Central itself. Eight to ten years time, that fits well in terms of your timeline because you have primary school within one camp radius such as Holy Innocence as well as CHIG Our Lady of the Nativity and of course once they finish your primary education, they can follow up with their secondary school education. By then, 10 years is almost the time that you can kind of move all your plans and at that stage, the balance is will still be very, very healthy. In the meantime, why not kickstart the home tour and we'll share more with you deep dive as we go along. You are mine, you share my face Through your designs, they bond my way The evil comes and runs 
Starting out from this area where we are standing at, now this is designated as the dining space. This is a white landscape type of layout. Some of the things that you can do is, if let's say you're a big family, you want to create kind of different zones, you can have this small little play area or chill out area. Doing so, this will open up opportunities for you to kind of reposition your dining space. You can either have the dining space right on the outside. I'm going to show you this patio space first. So you have a sizable area, you can definitely have six or even up to an apex right over here. Do up the zip track to kind of give you some level of privacy if you want to. Actually, what you see right here, this is right on the elevator ground. So this doesn't actually feel like a level one. And of course, when we talk about the largest layout right here, all the five bidders are stacked along this area. And we talk about rarity for five bidder, there's only 17 units. That translates to a mere 1.17%. That is how rare for five bidder right here. Patio space wise, this is actually very comfortable. Even though you have a bit of the odd shape right over here, I think this gives off a very nice look and feel to the entire patio space. As we move back in, I heard an asteroid almost hit our planet and it only missed by a little bit. As we move back in, now let's say you kind of want to have the dining space inside and yet you want to kind of have a segregation area for the play area. What you can do is if you do not need this dry kitchen, you can easily just remove this. You can then have turn this area into a very nice dining area. Alternatively, if let's say you're someone that don't really cook a lot, you can then kind of knock this wall down, of course subject to the MCSD approval. Once you knock this wall down, you can reposition the fridge to be right tucked along this wall line, have a bit of a countertop space, and then from there on, you can have a huge dining table flushing across this entire space. We bring you towards the kitchen first. If you like the current setup, you can just remain as it is because right now you have kind of like a double galley. This is what we call the triangular setup where you have the fridge over here, your stove as well as your washing area. And this triangular setup is extremely efficient in terms of your kitchen planning. You have the hood hop as well as the oven right below and all these are provided for. As we move towards here, you have quite a big sink and you have a combination of your pull-out drawers as well as cabinet space that are tucked at the bottom as well as the top. Moving on towards here, entire line has been flushed with storage cabinets right over here. This can be a mini area for your coffee machine. More kitchen gadgets as well as appliances right over here. Pull-out cabinets are all done up already. And as you move towards the back end, this will be your washer as well as dryer. And this will then be your dedicated yard area. And as you move, towards the tail end of this unit. This will bring us to kind of like a store area. Of course, with a private lift, this also comes with your very own secondary exit. WC is right on this corner. Some of the suggestion is you can just retain as it is. You don't need to do much. All these countertop space have all been done. This can serve as a quick breakfast meal because the recess area has already been done. Just get a high stool and you're all set to go. Kids can actually enjoy their breakfast right over here. In terms of this layout, this is what we kind of call the dumbbell 5 beta wide span layout. This also gives you some level of privacy if let's say you want to kind of have a multi-gen living over here while yet maintaining the level of privacy. One family area can be here and then the other one can be towards there. Before we head into this junior master, just kind of want to share with you some possible ideas that you can adopt is that if let's say you wish to expand the space right on the inside, knock this wall down, bring this wall line out a little bit and then transform this entire wall line on the inside to be a wardrobe space, convert the current wardrobe space Space into a study or table area and then you can maximize this overall space especially once you do so you still have a big space right on the living as well as dining in the meantime follow us in junior ensuite is tucked towards here space wise is pretty comfortable you have storage cabinets in terms of the mirror at the top storage cabinets at the bottom WC your washing area as well as your shower area right towards the inside as you move towards the sleeping area so resting area is currently fitted with a queen size where you see right now all these are the plants that have actually give you that level of privacy if you kind of want to have some level of privacy you can go for those bottom up blinds bottom up blinds work in such a way that it will actually cover right at the bottom while still allowing lights coming through from the top so living area is extremely comfortable you can place a three-seater or you can have a three-seater or a two-seater right over here this can give a very nice chill out area for your family living hall area as well as the patio space this is fronting towards the east i think there's a lot of different ways that you can kind of play around with this entire layout. Common bathroom will then be towards here, standing shower as well as your WC, your basin 
and it's our storage cabinets right at the bottom and common bedroom wise this is extremely comfortable again you can place it in a queen size wardrobes have all been done from floor to ceiling another kind of idea that you can adopt is knock this wall down have the bed towards this side and the other bed towards the other side utilize the central area as a play area for your kids you can have the table lined up along here i think this is gonna be a lovely space right over here now this is such a panoramic zone that you can have because this actually overlook towards the main facilities area very nice unblocked view this is the only room that have the western sun once the western sun sets in to about 3 or to 4 pm the sun will then be right behind the block and of course that will kind of shield you away from the western sun but otherwise you have this very nice window that's wrapping around space wise it's comfortable you can put in a queen size bed floor to ceiling wardrobes have all been done right over here so space wise is actually very very comfortable and standing shower your wc your basin as well as your storage cabinets right at the bottom and last but not least i'm going to show you the largest space right here which is the master now master is extremely huge we are talking about king size right over here ample space on both the left and right and you have floor to ceiling windows and mind you all these sliding panels and you have this what we call the Juliet kind of balcony setup where it allows you to open up and uh, of course this is fronting towards the same view as what we are seeing right from the comforts of our patio space moving on towards the master ensuite you have mirror with storage cabinets at the top bottom your basin right over here standing shower as well as your WC pretty sizable and good enough space ventilation window are all done up If you look around this entire area, naturally the three bidders will then be the majority of the configuration followed by the four bidders and last but not least the five bidders. What we want to take into consideration is of course in terms of the size, in terms of your entry price and then at the same time at this entry price, what are some of your options? Naturally when we take a look at some of the four bidders or some of the strata landed due to its nature of the luxurious size that will usually average at about $3.5 million. How this stack up with some of the other layouts is that if you go for garden residences for a 5 meter right over there they are asking at about 3.3 million dollars if let's say you want to go for something that is clustered but yet you want a 5 meter naturally you have some of the options such as affinity as serangoon average price point is already touching towards the 3.4 over million dollars right now the entry price for something that is new launch into this market is going at about 24 to 25 psf few years down the road all these transactions might likely hit towards the three thousand dollars range going on a very conservative basis of about four percent per annum growth rate and then if you were to kind of play down a little bit two four two five should be the kind of price range for you to exit and then in terms of exit point we also want to make sure that when you want to exit it shouldn't cause a confusion for some of the buyers if they are touching closer towards some of the lender prices or even some of the 99 years lender prices and i think entering at this 2.95 million dollars range you have a clear distinction in terms of your entry price which will then have a direct impact in terms of your exit price few years down the road Last but not least, 10 years down the road, you will also coincide with the master plan transformation that is happening right beside us, which is the Pai Lebar Air Base. And what you are getting right now is the first mover advantage into this area in terms of your exit plan 10 years down the road. And when you talk about D19, you are not lack of amenities because just a straight bus down that will bring you towards Aukang Mall. Further down there, will bring you towards Serangoon. Next, last but not least, you have your brand new mall, Sengkang Grand Mall. And you talk about retail outlets right here, you have retail outlets such as fresh fruit shops as well as fair price express and all these gives you the level of flexibility as well as convenience within your doorstep And with that, we come to the end of this beautiful home tour right here at Rear Front Residences, the largest land plot right here, as well as the largest configuration for a non landed strata. And if you like what you see, do get in touch with our listing team. The contact details are down below. Subscribe to our various channels on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. And last but not least, do not forget to subscribe to some of our upcoming webinars where we'll deep dive in terms of some of the strategies as well as methodology that we usually apply for our clients. And once again, my name is George Payne from Prop Team Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. Uh, standing at a very attract... <laughs> and uh, once you move towards here... Sorry, <laughs> bro.
<laughs> Cape, Cape View, right? I'll come Cape View. <laughs> no, I want to be serious. Ah, I'm laughing at my own stuff. <laughs> you laughing at stuff? <laughs> hey, I cannot stop laughing. Huh? Ah. <laughs>